In the next minutes, I'd like to show you how you can run several analyses in Creo Simulate with the uh, batch mode. My name is Urs Simler. I'm working for the company called Avenix. So let's go directly to the Creo parametric environment. Here I'm in the working directory here. This one, there are my two projects. And I want to, let's say, run these two projects, these two analyses uh, later on with the, in the batch mode. OK. So let's go for the first uh, project here. Let's open the model. And we're going for Creo Simulate with that model. I created some uh, loads, some constraints, some mesh refinements, and I already set up an analysis. Here I do not go for running the analysis. Instead of that, I'm using the batch mode here. And in that batch mode, I'm telling Creo Simulate I want to save, let's say, this batch file in that uh, directory here. OK. He asked me for error detection. And uh, he prepared this analysis for running in batch mode. So he did not start that analysis. We can see that also in, let's say, our uh, explorer here. We see, OK, it created a subdirectory with the analysis name, but in in there, there's just uh, the preparation for the analysis. The analysis did not start yet. So next thing, I'm closing that uh, file here, and I'm uh, changing my working directory. So I'm going for project B. There I'm opening my component. And on that com component in Creo Simulate, I'd like to uh, create another analysis. This is a eigenvalue analysis here. OK, and this analysis, I do not start it here. I'm going again for the batch mode. And I'm creating here, or I'm adding to it to the existing uh, batch file the new information for the new analysis here. And if I'm looking at that batch file, then I can edit that one. And I just can see here, OK, there is uh, the run, the batch run for the first project. And here, the batch run for the second project. That means right now, I can, let's say, close Creo parametric here. And we see, when I'm closing that one, that, uh, let's say, that the job here, x top, will go away. OK, we can see that here. Oops. We can't see anymore here any X top. And now I'm, let's say, double clicking this file here. That means that the patch file is starting. OK, and we can see here a MS engine is coming up. This is the solver of uh, Creo Simulate, MS Engine, Mechanical Structure Engine. This is the, the old name of that one. And if I'm looking here right now at my project A, I can see here there is a temporary directory. And that means, OK, the run is on the way. Now this has gone away. And if I'm going for the second project directory, I can see here also a temporary file. And I can have a look here in 
let's say the analysis directory, what's the status of that component of or of that run. I can see here, okay, uh, it meshed the component. It was running, let's say, the first run here. And now if I'm retaking that again, I can see in the RPT file it's on the second step. And I can see right now here in the task manager that MS Engine has gone away. And that means right now also, no, it's still here, the MS Engine. I was wrong. Uh, and now let's say the MS Engine can't be seen anymore. That means for me, the analysis is uh, at the end. So that means right now I can close the task manager and I can go back for uh, Creo parametric. So I'm starting again, Creo 8, the English version of it. And I can see then that all the results are here. First thing I'm doing, I'm going for uh, the working directory. So this is in uh, C here, simulation, structure. I'm searching for patch. Now I'm searching here for examples and now batch. And this is my uh, directory here. And I can see, okay, in that directory we'll find here, let's say the analysis uh, directories of my eigenvalue and static analysis here. So I'm going for that's it, project A. I'm opening the component. I'm going for Creo Simulate, and I can see here in the post process that there are results. I'm opening. Uh, Results here, maybe the stress. Okay. And in the next window, I want to see the results of my project B. This is an eigenvalue analysis, and I'm just doing here an animation of that one. Okay, and I can see here the eigenvalue of this tube. And let's say that's a procedure how, how you can run several analyses from several uh, project directories with one batch file. So I wish you fun and success. Bye.